Welcome to learning how Polar M400 can guide you during training. Next, you'll see how the training views, finish time estimator, heart rate zones, and interval timer can help you reach your targets. Let's begin by looking at the finish time estimator. It's a simple and handy feature when you want to know your estimated finish time, for example, for a half marathon or another predefined distance. Set the distance for your session and the M400 will estimate your finish time according to your speed. Now go to Timers, Finish Time Estimator. To set a target distance, go to Set Distance and choose 5 kilometers, 10 kilometers, half marathon or marathon. You can also choose Set Other Distance. Then select Start, choose your sport profile and wait until the GPS status is OK. Start your training and the M400 will show you your first finish time estimate. Estimation will be updated as your speed changes. Finish time is one of the training views you can see during training. You can change training views with the up or down button. With heart rate zones, you can easily select and monitor your training intensity. Training is divided into five heart rate zones based on a percentage of maximum heart rate. For example, training at the lowest zones, one and two, can be used for recovery training, whereas the highest zones, four and five, increase your ability to sustain high-speed endurance. Learn more about Polar Heart Rate Zones at polar.com. Polar Heart Rate Zones is also a training view. When you want to train on a specific heart rate zone, you can lock the current zone you're on just by pressing and holding start for a couple of seconds. Display will zoom into this heart rate zone. If your heart rate goes outside the lock zone, you'll be notified with audio feedback. Unlock the zone by pressing and holding start again. After training, you can see how much time you spent training on different zones. If you like to train with intervals, the interval timer is a handy tool for setting them up. You can set two timers at a time for any interval workout, based on either distance or time, and play them on a loop as many times as you like. The easiest way is to plan your intervals and timers menu before training, and to start using them during training via the quick menu. This way you can do a proper warm-up, and you don't have to start the intervals right at the beginning of your training. For example, a one kilometer work phase with a five minute recovery phase is set in the timers menu like this. and you start using it via quick menu like this. And this is how it will look like. Just like the finish time estimator and heart rate zones, the interval timer is also a training view in your M400 during training, and you can change it by pressing up or down.
In addition to these features, remember to also check what the Flow Web Service has to offer.